Archdiocese of San Antonio. Dear brothers and sisters at home, and as you follow this Mass, we want to share with all of you unbounded that we think of you, that we pray for you, and we want you to be with us at this Mass in which we become one. The readings of the scripture today, they invite us to consider the work of the Holy Spirit. It's only by the power of the Holy Spirit that, that we will not be quiet as we face the truth. That we will be able to, to express our limitations and to be able to receive the gifts that everyone has been given for the common good. But it's the work of the Spirit. The Gospel tells us that Jesus was very clear to invite people not to be afraid. Do not be afraid. No tengan miedo. And Jesus himself gives his Holy Spirit. Because with his, without his Holy Spirit, very easily we will be afraid. Afraid to be, afraid to share, afraid, afraid to face, afraid to grow. Sin el Espíritu Santo, muy fácilmente el miedo nos paraliza. Y no podemos compartir, no podemos ver las necesidades, no podemos hacer el bien. No podemos vivir la verdad. But what is beautiful here is that St. Paul shared the same thought with his co-workers in the vineyard of the Lord. St. Paul himself expresses very clearly that we have the Spirit of the Lord and that in Christ we have been chosen. Que el Espíritu del Señor está con nosotros porque es Jesús y es en Él en quien hemos sido escogidos. And what a beautiful thought of confidence on the part of the Lord. And St. Paul, with the people of his time, you have been chosen. Do not be afraid. And the Spirit of the Lord is with you. Hemos sido escogidos en Jesús. Ustedes y yo y todos aquellos o aquellas que el Señor ha llamado a colaborar para que su Evangelio sea conocido y que lleguemos a ser sus discípulos. Qué, qué consolador es saber que porque hemos sido escogidos en Él y con el sello de su Espíritu no tendremos miedo to live life in fear is a terrible thing but we have the Spirit of the Lord and as I, your Archbishop in San Antonio and your brother at work I truly believe that the spirit that has been bestowed on me in my office as a bishop, as archbishop, is the same spirit working in you, which is the spirit of Jesus Christ. And from this place, we're going to do real good without fear. Because the Spirit of Christ is with us. May 
this mess be a thanksgiving for everyone who has been part of the Archdiocese of San Antonio. For those presently living in stones of our local church, but for those who are going to come because they have been chosen by Jesus to experience new life in Him. Our Lady of Guadalupe, may the fruit of your womb, because of the presence of the Holy Spirit in you, bring alive the presence of Jesus in all those who in the womb of our Archdiocese are ready to be fully alive in Christ. us and keeps us in his care confidently let us place our needs before him for the church that her leaders and all the faithful may strive to be constantly aware of our mission to share God's love with others let us pray to the Lord Lord hear our prayer for government leaders that they may serve their people by fostering policies that help them live as befits children of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those oppressed by illness, sorrow, doubt, or fear, that their burdens may be lightened by our prayers and by God's grace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our local community, that we may live peacefully together, sharing God's blessings with one another, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, that they may be welcomed into the eternal joy of the heavenly kingdom, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. Now let us pray all those petitions we hold privately in our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. Loving Father, we ask that you hear and answer our prayers as we begin our journey in you in this new phase of our archdiocese may we carry on your will building on what we have received already and looking forward trusting in your loving care we ask this through christ our lord 